Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install the MP3 player plugin on your PSP. Basically, what this plugin does is let you play your MP3 files while you're playing your PSP games. So if you guys want to set this up, what you want to do is just go onto USB connection, press X, connect your PSP to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on your computer, the link will be in the description, it's just a mega link and here it will have the latest version, so this is actually the fixed version and I don't think there's going to be any more updates to be honest, I'm pretty sure they've finished updating this, but all you want to do is click the red download button and then the program will begin downloading. So once it has finished downloading, you can head over to your PC's downloads folder and also guys, I've just got two songs which I'm going to use um, with um, the plugin, so I can play these songs while while playing a game at the same time. So with the plugin itself, we need to extract the zip file, so just right click it and then select extract here. It's going to give us two files, a .ini file and then a .prx file. We will need to copy these to the SE plugins folder on our PSP. So it's this folder right here and just paste them into this file. Next what we want to do is open up the game.txt because we actually want to add in a line of text here. So here is another document I've got, this has all the instructions. This is the line of text we want to add and just keep in mind if it, you have a PSP Go you will need to add EFO instead of MSO. So we are just going to copy this into the um, game.txt and then just go on file and save. Now we can close out of this one. And we also have to add it to this one as well, vsh.txt. So we're just going to create a new line and then just paste exactly the same thing in there. And then file and save and we can close out of that. So that is pretty much it for adding the plugin to your PSP. Um, obviously here are all the options. This tells you, you know, how to play the tracks, how to skip them and stuff like that. Also it says here, once inside of a game, uh, to get the music working, you hold um, L plus R and square, and then it will start playing your first song on the list. So what we're actually gonna do is just copy across our songs. You should have a folder on your PSP just called music. As you can see, mine has not got anything in. So I'm going to drag my two MP3 files from my downloads folder into my music folder. So that is now it for the PC. Um, you guys can pause and read all of the instructions if you wish, but I'll be showing you guys how to do it anyway. So let's head over to the PSP and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so back on our PSP, the first thing we need to do is just press select to bring up our VSH menu. I'm using Pro Custom Firmware for this, but it should work on pretty much every custom firmware. So what we want to do is scroll down to the recovery menu and press X. Once we're in the recovery menu, we want to scroll all the way down to plugins and press X on that. Now we need to make sure that the MP3 Play plugins are enabled. So it looks like mine are enabled by default. So that's always good. So just make sure both of them are enabled, the VSH and the game one. So now we're just going to go back and go down to reset VSH. Then just press X on that. Now your PSP is just going to restart quickly. Now we should be able to get the plugin working in the main menu. So if you hold left and right and then press square, um, as you can see, it's actually going to pop up down here. So if I start turning up the sound, you guys can hear that my song is actually playing. So you, you can play this on the PSP. As you can see, I'm on the main menu right now. Um, to stop it, you just do left, right and square again. And that's just going to pause it. So now we're just going to find a game. I'm just going to choose Rock Band. Um, this only works on PSP games. It definitely doesn't work on PS1 games. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on emulators, but you could always try it. So what I would recommend doing if you want to listen to music is actually turning off the music in the game itself. So right, right here on Rock Band, we're going to find the settings just to turn off the music. Now, every game pretty much has different settings for this, um, but we're just going to try and find them. So it's probably going to be somewhere in the game's options. If you go into audio settings, um, as you can see here, we can actually turn down the background music. So if we just press X to accept, and just go back a few times. Now we can put on our own music. So left, right, square. I'm just going to turn up the volume. 
I know you guys can hear my own song is playing. So to just skip the song, that's how I want to go on my second song. I'll use left, right, and then right on the D-pad. And then it's going to start playing my second song. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.